together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sing the alphabet song. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z Now I know my ABCs Next time won't you sing with me? That was lovely! Hello, friend. It's so good to see you. Nice to see you too, Mr. Goose. And look what I have in my backpack. This is called a banjo. Mr. Frog, you just used the letter of the day. Did I? Yes, the letter B. B makes the sound B in banjo. Listen. B, B, banjo. B, B, banjo. Now you try. B, B, banjo. Isn't it beautiful? I heard the letter of the day again. Yes, beautiful also begins with B. B, B, beautiful. That's exactly right. Here are more things that begin with B. Boat. Boat. Boy. B. B. Boy. <laughs> Ball. B. B. Ball. What letter do all these words start with? B. That's right. The letter B. Hey, everybody. 
Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? R! What's this letter? D! What's this letter? P! What's this letter? P! Now let's do it fast! P E R D R D P B D B R P B R D P <laughs> Nice work, everybody! That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter! You say it's new! <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter B. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky with clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. Great! I'll trace the next one. Hmm. B. Terrific tracing. Now, Let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. B. Ah. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> It. Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? B. Exactly. Uppercase B. And what's this letter? B. That's right. Lowercase B. Nice job. Wow. Wow. Cool. Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. B. It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Sizing Things Up. This book is about big things and small things. Let's read it. Let's begin. Sizing Things Up Written by Aparna Kapoor Illustrated by Debjota Saha The world is full of creatures and things. Some are big, some are small, most are somewhere in the middle. These are some of the biggest things we know. These are some of the smallest things we know. Some things look big because they're surrounded by smaller things. 
The same things may look small when they're surrounded by bigger things. What looks big from close by may look small from far away. Big things make bigger things. Bigger things make huge ones. Huge things make ginormous ones. Ginormous things make super duper mega jumbo ones. Small things are made of smaller ones. Smaller things are made of tiny ones, which are made of eeny teeny weeny things. But even the eeny teeny weeny can make a super duper mega jumbo difference in this big, small, world. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Frogs? Oh, like you, Mr. Frog. That's right. Today, you can all pretend to be frogs. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating the most delicious bugs, yum yum One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool Now there are four green speckled frogs Now I want you to all sing along with me I want to hear you sing too How many frogs are there now? Four! Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating the most delicious bugs, yum yum One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool Now there are three green speckled frogs How many? Three! Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating the most delicious bugs, yum yum one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two! Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One! One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done! Yay! Thank you for singing with me. And thank you, too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Mm. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> Look how smooth it looks. 
I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play! Uh-huh. But first... We clean up! Oh, right! That's right! Let's clean up together! Okay! okay. Which snake is green? There it is! Green snake. Which fan is green? There it is. Green fan. Which gift is green? There it is. Green gift. Which jewel is green? There it is. Green Jewel. That's exactly right. Let's have a pattern party! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Patterns repeat! Patterns repeat! When I say a pattern, repeat to the beat. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. 
Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you. Skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you.